Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a quick thing on ice tables as requested by Patrick. Um, so this is round three on this video for me, so hopefully this will go okay. Um, so like I said, we're going to be doing ice table. Um, and we're going to be just working with a hypothetical situ hypothetical reaction. And it's going to be A plus 2B goes to 3C. So we're going to use a 1 liter reactor, or 1 liter jar, what have you, a bottle. Um, and we're going to start with 2.5 moles of A and 3 moles of B we're throwing into this reactor. Okay, so we're going to have this ice table that we set up. And ice stands for initial change in equilibrium. And so if we're using an ice table with a Kc value to find like a, an equilibrium constant or a change, this ice table needs to be in units of concentration. So moles per volume or mass per volume. So since we have just a one liter reactor, this actually becomes really easy. And it's just 2.5, the initial concentration for A is just 2.5 moles per liter. And B is the same, that is 3.5 moles per liter. We're assuming that we're throwing this in from the, just from the start, there's no moles of C. So the change, based on the stoichiometry. We're going to subtract x for a. That means just that much is you know, being removed from the initial concentration of a. For b, we're going to be subtracting 2x, which means that for every mole of a we react, we're going to be reacting two moles of b and losing twice as much. For c, we'll be getting 3x. This is positive because we're adding this to our reactor, or to our, to our vat. Um, we're doing this some really similar stuff in my reactor engineering class. So for those of you interested in going to chemical engineering, this doesn't go away. But it's kind of cool because it's ingrained by the time you get there. So in equilibrium, we just add the initial and the changes. So it'll be 2.5 minus x for a, 3 minus 2x b and just 3x for c. Now we know already that we can set up um, our kc, um, we'll actually change the color for us so you can see it better. Um, we can set up, ooh, okay, um, for kc based on the stoichiometry as well. So kc is the equilibrium constant. So kc is just it's like products over reactants the concentration of C, which is what the brackets denote, cubed, because it's 3, over A, concentration of A, times the concentration of B, squared, times QB. So, since we have these concentrations, we can go ahead and plug those in. So we'll have 3x cubed over 2.5 minus x and 3 minus 2x. Okay, so you may be looking, oh, and this equals kc, which we're going to say equals 0.25, just for the smell of it. All right, so we got 0.25 right there. So we know, there, well, if you look at this equation, it may look kind of crazy to solve, but um, there's a couple tricks we can do. First, you can use poly simultaneous on your, uh, um, on your, if you have like Schwenke graphing calculator. Um, if you have a graphing calculator too, you can also do one trick of saying 3x, you can graph the line or the, the curve to 3x cubed, and then you can graph the line for 0.25 times 2.5 minus x, oh, that's squared, sorry about that, minus 2x squared as number 2. And then you can see where they intersect. So you'll get something like the, oh, that is horrible. I'm so sorry. Uh, we'll try that again. You'll get something like 
that for y1. You'll get something similar. Let's just draw this as that. And you'll get a point there and a point there. And so you'll have to, if you do that re way, you'll definitely have to use your logic as to what x could be. Because if you get something negative, it probably doesn't make sense. Just remember the science and not just the math. It's really important. Or we can do a third technique, which we'll put in a different color really quick so I don't run out of YouTube time. Eh, purple sounds good. Sorry for the girly colors. It's almost Valentine's Day. Um, we can do what's called the small x assumption. And so what we assume, this isn't always the best assumption, but it's an easy way to solve the problem. Well, it's a helpful way. Is we'll assume that these x's are so small compared to what they're being added and subtracted to that they're zero. This doesn't mean that this x right here is zero because that would leave you with no problem to solve. Just that in ad addition and subtraction, that x is negligible. So you set anything that's added or subtracted to that x, you just set that x to zero. And so what you'll end up with is 0.25 equals 3x all cubed over 2.5 times 3 squared. So that makes it a lot easier to solve just on your calculator. So if we go ahead and do that, we're going to get 3 cubed times x cubed, because that's distributable, times 2.5 times 3 cubed, which this crosses out with that, leaving us with 3 over 2.5 x cubed equals 0.25. So we can find x by taking the cube root, which is in math, it's number 4 on your graphic calculator. If you have a TI-83, um, and that is just 0.25, that goes over everything, 2.5. If you don't understand the algebra, give me an email and I'll help you out. So x will give you these x's right here and therefore you can solve for your equilibri equilibrium um, concentrations of all your all your things and therefore see how many how much mass is there how many moles um, yeah you can do about anything so with that I wish you luck um, <laughs> and good luck with the ice tables